In this video, I'm going to discuss the indicators of detoxification on the organic acid test from Great Plains Laboratory. I'll also discuss how to address any imbalances in these markers, which is important for anyone looking to reduce their toxic load. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that the main reason I put together these videos is to help people with different types of autoimmune conditions and other health issues better understand their test results so that they can find and remove their triggers, correct any underlying imbalances, and feel great again. I need to let you know that this video is not meant to be used as medical advice or as a recommended treatment protocol, and it isn't a replacement for consulting with a competent healthcare practitioner. The organic acids test from Great Plains Laboratory offers a comprehensive metabolic snapshot of a patient's overall health. It provides an evaluation of intestinal yeast and bacteria, markers for vitamin and mineral levels, oxidative stress, neurotransmitter levels, indicators of detoxification, and is the only organic acids test to include markers for oxalates. Under the section Indicators of Detoxification, there are four markers. Pyroglutamic acid is a metabolite of glutathione, and if this marker is elevated, this usually is indicative of a glutathione deficiency, although in some cases it can result from a genetic disorder, metabolic effects of certain antibiotics, or intake of certain infant formulas. 2-hydroxybutyric acid, this is another marker related to detoxification, and when it's elevated, it's a byproduct of the breakdown of the sulfur amino acid metabolite cystathionine, which may occur during oxidative stress or increased toxic exposure. While an elevated 2-hydroxybutyric might indicate a glutathione deficiency, it could also relate to problems with methylation. Methylation is a complex topic, and I won't get into detail about it here, but it is necessary for most of the body's systems, including the repair of DNA, the formation of neurotransmitters, the regulation of hormones, and it's also important when it comes to detoxification. Orotic acid. So elevations of this marker are usually caused by excess levels of ammonia, which can result from drug toxicity of the liver, a viral infection of the liver, kidney problems, bacterial dysbiosis, gastrointestinal bleeding, or inborn errors of ammonia metabolism. 2-hydroxyhypuric acid. So this is a conjugate of the amino acid glycine and hydroxybenzoic acid. This marker can be increased by taking aspirin, consuming aspartame, or by an overgrowth of salicylate-producing gastrointestinal bacteria. It's also worth mentioning that if 2-hydroxyhypuric acid gets very high, it can inhibit the enzyme dopamine beta-hydroxylase, which can cause an elevated homovanillic acid. Before discussing the treatment options related to these indicators of detoxification, if you like this video so far, please do me a favor and click the like button below. So let's jump into the treatment suggestions for the elevated markers, starting with treatment suggestions for an elevated pyroglutamic acid. So of course you want to try to do everything to reduce toxic exposures as well as oxidative stress. And you could accomplish this by eating mostly organic foods. Uh, you want to try to use natural cleaners and cosmetics. If you have mercury amalgams, you would want to consider removing these as well as decrease other toxic exposures. Consider supplementing with NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, or glutathione, preferably a liposomal or acetylated glutathione supplement. Selenium is a cofactor of glutathione production, so you might want to consider supplementing with selenium. Eat foods that support glutathione production. Cruciferous vegetables are a wonderful source of glutathione. Um, so you can see broccoli here in parentheses, but other cruciferous vegetables as well, such as cauliflower, kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Treatment suggestions for an elevated 2-hydroxybutyric acid. Um, so there'll be some overlap with an elevated pyroglutamic acid, as once again, you want to reduce toxic exposure and oxidative stress. Again, eat organic food, natural cleanliness and cosmetics remove mercury amalgams, decrease other toxic exposures, consider supplementing with NAC or a liposomal or acetylated glutathione supplement, um, selenium, and once again, eat foods that support glutathione production, such as cruciferous vegetables. Um, also garlic, now garlic's not a cruciferous vegetable, but it's a great source of glutathione. Support methylation as well to help with elevated 2-hydroxybutyric acid. So treatment suggestions for an elevated auritic acid. 
So once again, reduce toxic exposure and oxidative stress, address any infections or bacterial dysbiosis. And while this last bullet point isn't a treatment suggestion, you do want to consider a comprehensive metabolic panel to evaluate the liver and kidneys as problems with the liver and kidneys can lead to an elevator uric acid. Treatment suggestions for an elevated 2-hydroxyhypuric acid. So, of course, if you're consuming aspartame, you don't want to do this. And you want to address bacterial overgrowth. And just a reminder, while supplementation might be necessary, of course, you always want to try to address the cause of the problem. If you want to learn more about how to read your organic acids test results, you'll want to check out my organic acids overview video where I discuss the entire organic acids test in detail. And to get my latest videos, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video to help you better understand your test results.